Hi there, I'm going to do a quick demo on adding a date dynamically to the end of a field name. And actually adding the date is pretty simple. It's the part where we add it within the output tool that gets kind of interesting. I'm going to show you some of the options that you have within that tool. So let's jump into it here. I'm going to start from scratch, a blank canvas, and we're going to pull in some data uh, using the text input tool. And I'm just going to create uh, some fake data here. I'm going to call this uh, region, and we're just going to do uh, a north, south, uh, east, and west. All right. And then um, I'm just going to add another column in here, uh, and I'm going to call this uh, ID. Uh, we're going to just do one, one, two, three, and four. Of course, I could have used the uh, the record ID generator uh, to create that if I wanted to. Um, as well. So there we've got this data created. I'm going to add a browse tool on using my keyboard shortcut control shift B and then control R to run the workflow. All right, see I have my sample data built out. Now using that sample data I want to output this data to a CSV file but I want to include today's date onto the end of the CSV file. So to do that, we're gonna go over to the preparation palette and we're gonna pull in the formula tool and I'm gonna to drag that onto the canvas here. And I am going to go to the uh, select column dropdown but I'm gonna add a new column and I'm going to call this uh, file run date. All right, and then we're gonna create a quick formula in here and I'm actually gonna do this uh, two ways, but I'm gonna show you the first way and then we're gonna come back and take a look at it. So I'm just gonna use a, uh, a formula or function called uh, date time today. All right, and it has it has no parameter. It's just gonna give back the, uh, the year, the month, and the day in a four position year format uh, separated by dashes. All right, and we're gonna leave this as a string because we wanna attach it to the, uh, the string of the actual file name, okay? Uh, we're gonna click off that just to make sure we did our formula correctly. It's pretty simple, it works fine. And then we're gonna go back to the in out palette and we're going to choose output data and drag it onto the end of our workflow. And we're just gonna give this um, a quick file name. And actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the down arrow just to validate that I'm gonna save it somewhere that I know. So CSV file is what we're saving it as. And I'm in my temp directory. I already happen to have a file out, out here called sample with date. Um, and I'm gonna delete that file uh, from here since I already know that, that it works. Uh, and I'm gonna come back and remove the date on the, the end of that file name. So it's just called sample file with date and then we'll click save. Okay, uh, now I'm gonna do this a couple different ways so we can iterate through various uh, suffixes and, and adding on of text to the end of the file name. But now that I have the file name selected and where I want it to go, I need to come down to the bottom of the configuration and check the box that says take file slash table name from field. So turn that on and then we want to make sure append suffix to the table name is selected, it should be by default. And then we'll hit the down arrow and we'll choose file run date, okay? Now, right right now, keep file in field name in output is, is selected and we're gonna keep that selected and then we're gonna come back and, and turn it off. There's another thing that I wanna change as well because it's not gonna come out in the right format the first time. So everything's good, let's go ahead and run our workflow. All right, so we'll run it. And we'll go look at the file that was output. So I'm going to go to my temp directory. Let's refresh it here. And we'll see I have that CSV file here. It says sample file with date. Uh, what I noticed right away is there's no space in there. And I really wanted a space to be in there or an underscore, something to separate the file name from the date. So that's one thing I want to change. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this file in Excel. And we'll see that the file name for the, the uh, extension the date the file run date is in the file and I don't want that in there okay so I've got a couple things I need to remove so let's go ahead and go back to uh, our alter setup here and we're going to go into the formula tool and we're just going to add in here uh, a double quote and underscore and then another double quote and the plus sign okay so we're going to get the underscore to be added before the date is added. That's one thing I want to do. The other thing is I want to go over to the output tool and I want to uncheck keep field in output. I don't want to do that. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll run this again uh, and uh, see if we got what we wanted. 
All right, let's go back to my temp folder here. And you'll see, of course, I have two files there, the old one that didn't have uh, the underscore in it. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And then the one that has the underscore is the one that I want, and we'll open it and make sure that it looks good. I should see that the that third column with the file run name has now been removed. Perfect. All right, so quick and easy way for you to be able to add the date uh, dynamically. So when this runs tomorrow, it will have tomorrow's date and the day after that and so on. The other question that comes up is, could I get the date in a different format? You absolutely could. Uh, you, now that it's in, in a string format, you could parse out the date and move it. You could use the date time tool, which is in the parse menu to change the format. Um, if you wanted to. Another question that comes up is what if I wanted to remove the dashes? Uh, what a really quick way to do that would be to use the data cleansing tool that's on the preparation menu, uh, data cleansing, and just cleanse that one column, the file run uh, date column to remove uh, punctuation and that'll get that'll get rid of the dashes. So really quick ways to be able to modify the way that the date, date works. All right, that's it for this video. Next up is going to be some content around dealing with strings and text and various formulas and alter X to manipulate those. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'm producing content on a regular basis, so I hope you find these, these useful. Click the bell button to get notifications whenever new content is released. Thanks.